Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, hi. I'm I'm here. Uh, here performing for you. It's it's me. It's me, Marissa. Uh, I lied to you. Uh, Mario isn't here. I'm sorry. Also, what kind of what what kind of YouTube poops you've been you've been watching? F Fresh Pints is a classic. As as are those I teach Vader. Uh, those I teach Vader fucking. What you call them? YouTube poop MVs of of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Those are all good. Marissa, bam. Make bacon. God, I love the things. <laughs> She's so fucking funny. I have not. I have not watched that one. I gotta. Also, yeah. Hi. Welcome, welcome, uh, to Paper Mario, uh, the best RPG, the best N64 game, the best Mario game, fight me on that, goddammit. I'm so, I'm sorry, these are, listen, the, this is acceptable times for me to stream. Hey, hey, Mario. I I should be reading these. Hey, Mario. We got a le letter from Princess Peach. Look at that like tapestry in the background with Mario's name on it. I'll read it to you, okay? All right. Let's see. The way I'm voicing Luigi makes me think of the fucking uh. Uh, uh, hello, Mario. <laughs> I'm, I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Do you live like in Britain, Peach Fern? Oh, hi, Star. Hi, welcome. What if, what if I made me art? That would uh, be insane, and you would not uh, have to do that for one baby hour stream. I, I'll have to think about that. I mean, there's nothing stopping me, it's just I prefer to stream late at night, later at night. What a magnificent castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. Oh shit. Is it- there's a little bit. It's my Xbox controller drifts just- just a little bit. Apparently the dead zone on Project 64 isn't great. Let me see if I can fix that. Belgium, oh. Let's see, modifiers. Controller pack. The 10% dead zone, I guess we'll crank that up to 20, dear lord. Alright, that seems to be fine. But yeah, please... I... <laughs> it's very flattering how you would want to draw me art to see my stream. <laughs> wow. This, caps, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? 
I wish I could stay here at Peach's castle forever. Well, you could if you, like, stole it. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. Oh, dear. Hello? Proto Toadsworth? Greetings, Mario. I am the minister of Princess Peach's castle. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. <laughs> this, is, this is very funny, considering I'm streaming this, like, right... Right as, a uh, As Biden is giving a speech or whatever the fuck. Hello, Mario. I'm always... <laughs> I even said it. I even said it like the Luigi video. <laughs> Hello, Mario. I am always on the cutting edge of fashion, and I must say, your outfit is just fabulous. It really suits you, heart. Aw, uh, well, th thank you. Like these penguin guys. I'm here on behalf of lovely Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping with for souvenirs for frost tea. Aw, uh, that's cute. Uh, let's continue with the plot. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Can I? No, I can't. I can't ground pound yet. Mare there. Yeah, it does almost rhyme. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. I like how they at least tried to like give it the same like look and feel as the castle from 64. Oh Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you, heart. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Will you accompany me, Mario? Oh, this is adorable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god, it's an earthquake. Oh god, it's a ground castle. It's a ground sky castle. Mario's doing- Mario's raising the roof when he gets scared. He throws his hands in the air. I- I will. I definitely will. Oh. And- and again, you really don't have to do that, and it's- I- I really appreciate it. Oh. Are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Yeah, I would- I would also like to see our art, Peach. Oh my, look, Mario. Oh, that's- <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> it also, there's a character on the screen, uh, named Peach. Whoops. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Gwahaha. Long time no see, princess. Oh, uh, it's- it's- it's fine if you do here. Cause- cause I would also be interested in seeing that. But, I- I understand. Long time, no see, Princess Peach. Bowser. But this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Uh, that should've been a question. Whatever did you do? That should've been like a question mark, exclamation point. Gwahaha. Yeah, it was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky sitting up on my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? <laughs> There's a door <laughs> right there. <laughs> Listen, he, he wants to make a flashy a flashy entrance. He, he just really hated that window. This castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Huh? What? It's Mario. What a shock. Ha, not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. 
Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I have had my problems in the past. This time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy. Let's go. Oh shit, tutorial time. <laughs> and immediately he trips like an asshole. <gasps> right. This is... This is a t this is basically the tutorial, so I'll basically mash the A button <laughs> and uh, and check out your art peach. Is he? Let's see. <gasps> oh, that's adorable! Oh my god, I'm not I don't have Twitter on my phone because I don't uh I don't like having it on my phone, but I will. <laughs> I will follow you after. That art is fucking adorable. Oh god, he's gay Bowser now. You can also link your- <laughs> I don't mind. It's- so uh, it's fine if you also link your art, Morgan. One of my favorite images of all time is, uh, is I, th I think it's from Color Splash, and it, and it fucking it's Bowser going there. <laughs> There's no such thing as straight people, Mario. <laughs> I mean, he makes that noise. I, I I'm just so bad on on a, at going on Tumblr. I, I see all the stuff he posts. It's real fucking good, Morgan. <laughs> oh God, I gotta be reading. Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Bro, just throw him. You've got hands. You can, you can pick him up. Oh no, Mario! I assume that's what all those dashes were for. So long, gay Bowser. I have my shirt off. Like, it's hot. Like, I didn't expect how hot it would be down here. So I'm like... I've got, like... I basically have my shirt off and I'm wearing it like a scarf now that makes any sense. Prologue, a plea from the stars. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would too, Star. Hey, speaking of... Oh, thank heavens. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has a star rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now. Our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. <laughs> Gather round, everyone. Send Mario power. C canonically, Mario dies at the, at the beginning of Paper Mario. <laughs> Thank the heavens. He's been gravely injured. 
Mario, please get up. Please. Oh god. Yeah, it's, it's gonna chug a bit here and there. Uh, but I think generally the emulation will be fine. Really sounded like some something fell somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? You're, you're, uh, they're sending him thoughts and prayers. <laughs> His red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up. Come on, up and at him. Oh no, he won't wake up. Oh, oh, what am I gonna do? Dad, Goompa, Goombario. On a steam engine? Oh, you're probably hearing my laptop. <laughs> if, if it's making a lot of like chugging noises. Gonkpa. I'm Eldstar, it's Star Spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need you to come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we Star Spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. There's some like fucked up transparency issues, but it's fine. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it's kind of fucked up. The closest of my of my two two entire girlfriends. The closest is like uh, four days away from me in a car. Oh, Mario, I'm so happy to see you awake. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. This place... This is Gonkpa Village. It's a tiny village. It's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Gonkpas. The Gonkpas in the family are just the nicest folks you've ever met. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? It's a very weird detail. <laughs> you remember Mar Mario? No, I saw nothing like that, and I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream? Although maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven. So that would make sense. Who knows, in any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Right, game gameplay gameplay babies. A couple minutes. Hey. Hey Mario, I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Fuck. Oh land sakes, Mario. So nice to s s to meet you. I don't know why I couldn't read that. My. I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. It is weird how this boy is named Goombario very clearly after me. Uh, after like Mario. Mario? I, that's weird to do. Cause like, it would be kind of more normal if, if like he was just named Mario and like, you know, like, that's just a name you can give somebody, but to, like, make it a portmanteau of, like, your existence 
of, of like your species and somebody else's name and then you meet that person I mean I'm, I'm sure he will I'm sure he didn't have a choice in it he was like a baby or, or whatever Goombas are when they're born yep this this is how we save he kins Mario <laughs> Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. Hi. Hi, I'm Hugh Mario. You what? You have to leave right now. Oh, Shooting Star Summit. Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toad Town. Here's... Here's my brother, Huigi. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out to the east. That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot, I thought the sky was falling. Just relax and don't worry, I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Do I gotta... I gotta talk to old man. Oh, Mario. Hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother. <laughs> This phrase is, I guess it's like a nickname, okay. Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Gumbaria. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. I miss that the girl was named Gumbaria. That adds another layer of like weirdness for if you are Mario. Baby, babies are not sexy. I'm sorry, I have to put my foot down. Oh, you startled me. Hmm, yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good. Knew you'd pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba Grandfather. <laughs> the. The Goomba Grandfather. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. Whoa. Oh, Mario. My dad was looking for you. He said to tell you that he finished fixing the gate. I guess now you can travel east to Toad Town Shooting Star Summit, huh? See, if I was Mario, I would be, like, afraid that these people were gonna, like, murder me. That they were all, like, crazed fanatics who named two of their two children out after me. Goompa fucks, and he fucks lots. See, I, I agree with Star. Bleh -he 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 -he. Uh, my instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're, so, you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hardy one, alright? I was smart to come here to check on you. Huh? What? What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird, you brood little. I am a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name, Kami Koopa. Hmm. I wish I had time to do all. Well, I got water all over my laptop. Oh God! I can fix this. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's okay. I like. Oh God! Did I close it? What happened? Why did... I don't know what happened. <laughs> this is... Oh, shit. G <laughs> Good night, Peach. Thank you for coming on by. I think I closed Project 64. <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Come on. Let me, let me go. Let me continue. <laughs> there we go. Let me recapture that. It didn't just... Oh god, that's Discord. <laughs> that didn't just, like, 
close my I did, I did that didn't just close my entire like well, what am I trying to say? I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh shit. Uh, nice. So I think we gotta talk to you. Also, welcome back. I, I spilt water on my laptop by trying to drink and read text at the same time. Listen, it's fine. I thought it would be funny as like a joke. And I hope, I hope that was funny. <laughs> uh, did I not talk to you? Oh, there we go. We can skip this dialogue, it's fine. Ugh. Hi! Welcome- hi. Hi, Naomi. You also missed me spilling water all over myself. Not all over myself, all over my laptop. And not really even all over my laptop, but it was enough to get me worried. But it's fine. Star, do you still have the picture? Do you still have the diagram of me drinking water? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. That was... Okay, when did I stream... When did I stream the Pikmin 2 story mode? Because when that happened that I had water. That I, that I had the diagram of me drinking water. It's, it's an inside joke. <laughs> There's, there's an inside joke for a while that I was, like, incapable of drinking water correctly. Like, holding, like, holding the bottle of water, right? Listen, listen, I can drink water just fine, okay? I'm not gonna, like, take any picture or video proof, but I can do it. It's fine. Oh, my back. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my back. Hmm? Who's that? That you, Mario? I remember great crashing noise, and then the veranda cra collapsed, and I fell. This is the... This is the starting plot of Magical Arcade... Akenobashi, I think it's called, uh, which is a kind of shitty anime, but as a, a the big titty red haired lady. Uh, don't look it up, it's still bad, <laughs> but I like that part about it. But like, the start of that anime is that like, like, an old man is like, uh, He's like putting something up on like a roof and he falls and he dies. Uh, that's... The, well, I, I would disagree, but thank you. That's not... No. <laughs> that's a different anime with the big titty red haired lady. There can, there can be multiple. There's three. There's her. There's- there's the one from Gurren Lagann, then there's me. <laughs> I wish- I wish I had red hair. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course. Um, where did it go? I was using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, nowhere to be seen. I guess it must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we'd better look for it. Yep. Uh? Ah! Somebody joined the Discord call, what the fuck? Hello. Oh shit, hi. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome I to- I forgot to plug in my mic. <laughs> You're valid. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Naomi Binova. 
I'm here. Let me put you next to my gender. <laughs> make, make your name a little I bit am bigger. Your gender. Oh, that's what that's a scary thought. No offense to you. What? We <laughs> made the same joke like a couple of streams ago. Did we? I don't yes. I don't remember that far back. We right. made it like 30 streams ago, and you even put my name over the sexy woman. I will believe you. And, and bye. Bye, Morgan. Thanks Thanks for coming bye -bye. on by. The, the hammer has got to be somewhere close by. It looks just like this. Look for bushes that might cover it up. If the exclamation point appears over your head, you can press the action button to search. I will, I will never call buttons in games anything other than the action button. I don't know why. Where will you be when the random Naomi event happens? <laughs> you found the hammer. Mario can now do the hammer attack. You can smash a yellow block with this hammer. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I love how you said that uh, dialogue, the like grammatically correct way instead of the way they wrote it. It's, well, because like, it's it's saying that you can smash these yellow blocks now. You can't smash yeah. other kinds of blocks now. You can smash those kinds of blocks later, but not right now. I see. Because you get hammer upgrades. I'm, I'm a bit of a, a gamer at this game. I, I, I know a couple of things. You ever think about how come comically huge that hammer is compared to Mario. <laughs> it's like the size of his head. I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many no. people lose things all over the place, you know? Uh, like my place in breeding things. There. It almost makes one feel like looking around everywhere. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to interrupt you a lot for dialogue, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, I just... I was going to comment on the fact that, uh, that Goomba was using the hammer you're using. <laughs> and it's as big as him. <laughs> Bitch is buff as fuck. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a buff old man. That old man's hiding abs. <laughs> like, if you were to peel back that, like, <laughs> yellow stuff on a Goomba, you find abs they're right ripped. There, just they're ripped as fuck. Ripped as hell. Hmm, well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head for home. Alright. Youch. Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody. Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Mario, this is... it's a... it's a tutorial. Wow. Take this child shit in. I'm gonna destroy this kid. Can't believe it, I'm perfect guard there. I, I don't... I don't think you unlock that yet. Yeah, you don't... <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't unlock action commands until after the prologue. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I, I assume because apparently he still has his shell and he calls this place he's, his playground. I'm guessing he's like a baby or, or a child. Smash that baby's head with a hammer. I'm destroying this fucker. Oh no, he's using dark magic to do two damage. <laughs> Something about that's really funny to me. The idea of like... <laughs> like, you, you like do all this evil fucked up like blood shit, blood sacrifice shit, and it's only to like, like, pinch somebody. <laughs> You like bite into your arm and blood spewing out, and you use that blood magic, and you just squeeze. <laughs> honk, honk. I get that's I it. I get a voodoo doll, and I just like <laughs> lightly tap it, and that's it. 
<laughs> you. <laughs> the blood from your finger drips into the voodoo doll, and then you just slightly tap it <laughs> on the nose. Yeah. Uh, see, see, I can't, I can't destroy this block. What? The Luna, I. No. I don't think you have to specify that you don't beat up kids. No, you you should beat up Big Bang Theory kids. <laughs> no! <laughs> do you remember young Sheldon? God, my voice... My voice was terrible there, but yeah. I... I there was a lot... I, I think... I think it was... I think it was... I think it was Pat and... I think it was Pat uh, Gill and mm -hmm. Justin McElroy when he was still at Polygon. They like, they streamed for like five hours in a row, uh, just the Young Sheldon trailer. And I remember, I remember watching all of it. So I, I have like an encyclopedic knowledge of, of Young Sheldon trailer. There's a really, there's a really funny shot if you play it in slow de in slow motion, where like there's like a there's like a toy train set, right? And 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 young Sheldon just arises <laughs> from the, from below the frame to look at the toy set, the, the trains. I can already imagine what that looks like. <laughs> I bet, like... Wait, wait, you're betting on me? You're betting, like, dollars? No, they're betting on Luna to beat up the other kid. Oh. Uh, but listen. Give them some time to grow out of Big Bang Theory. If they're an adult and they like it, then you can beat them up. <laughs> can we, can we agree on that? <laughs> that one all indoors. Hmm? I want old Sheldon. I want. No. I want. Uh, what? What was that? What was that movie? The Red Letter Media hates Boyhood. Where it, it took no twelve clue. years to make. Took twelve years to make Boyhood. I want that, but for Sheldon. I want. I want a Sheldon show for every year of his life. I will. I want to see like a. Like a 50 part season, just about like an 80 year old Sheldon sitting in his bed and shitting his adult diapers and watching like Star Trek Below Deck. Congrats, you've made the most depressing media I've ever heard. <laughs> now he grabs. He grabs his his granddaughter's hand and shakes it real hard, and, and he's laying in his bed, and he just whispers, "Bazinga!" And he goes limp, and that's the end of Sheldon. That's the end of the Sheldon Chronicles. What a stupid fucking show the Big Bang Theory is. Yeah. Huh? That doll you got, that's the one Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? No! Oh, that's just, <laughs> that's just me and Mario. I guess you could just give it back when you're done with it. You always seem to beat up your enemies. That's a funny, that's a funny thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to dad and Goompa. And I also exercise every day so I could be strong, like you. It's starting to show too, I'm getting big muscles, see? See, Goombas are buff. Yeah, Goombario's head is hard as a rock now, tee hee. He does his head bonk move. It really, really hurts. This again. There's something very funny about like 
this pretty authentic dialogue and her just going, oh, when he uses his special attack. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Luna. Oh, oh, goodbye, Luna. Have, have a good dinner. Mario accused for violence. We're just, we're just, accused. we're just rapping with Mario. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry. I wanted to give this to Mario. We got the power jump badge, yay. This is called a badge. I know what badges are, old man. I could, no. No. I, I've played a Paper Mario game before. I've, I've played Paper Mario the Origami King. I know everything there is to know about, <laughs> about Paper <laughs> Mario. <laughs> We're not gonna dunk on Origami King. We're absolutely not- we're absolutely not doing that. What if I did? I would what kick- we, I would- if I brought down the whole mood of the stream I and would, just complained for seven hours? I would kick you from call. We're only allowed to talk about happy things like Sheldon dying. <laughs> Remind me to clip that. <laughs> oh my god, Star, please go to bed. <laughs> oh, Star. It's fucking... I don't know why I've cultivated an audience of people who need to sleep when I stream. It's because... Your audience is your opinion. Your opinion? Your opinion. <laughs> Typo in chat. Oh my Typo in chat. Get him. Get her. How do I- Like King or Kinian from the CDI games. <laughs> European? Oh Enough. My, God. my ship sails in the morning. How do I- I guess I can't- I guess I can't use Goombario's power on this toad. This toad has no no like personality or existing existing background. Go to bed, Star. No butts. Can I can I use him on her? What button do I do this? Oh, that's, oh sh. Is, isn't it Z? Spin is Z. Let me see. I thought Are this you... was a. Press down to. To have him tell you about everything nearby. Okay, so it's God. I forgot. I I should probably rebind my controls. Give me a second. I'm being laughed at in chat. <gasps> Marissa, they're all laughing at me. Laugh at her. She deserves it. Where's the Z button? All right, that should be fine. Should whoops. Well, tell tell me about your mother, Goombario. I'm very interested in your mom. She's she's my mom, Goomama. She sometimes gets on my nerves when she worries too much about me, but I still love her lots. Don't tell her what I just said. Seriously, Mario, promise me. You're talking about her right to her fucking face, bro. I don't know what to tell you. So I did not... Apparently, I did not apply the changes to the controller. That's cool. Project 64 kind of sucks. Yeah. The fuck? Why isn't it doing anything? You probably gotta save and restart. That's what I. That. Ugh. Ugh. Like restart the whole thing. Yeah. <sighs> Whoa! You can see my. Whoa! You can see my Project Sixty Four ROM folder. Whoa. Bad ROM? I've got... That was a hack that doesn't exist anymore. Uh. 
You can, well, you can see Glover. Whoa. Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. The <laughs> Crystal <laughs> Kirby wouldn't do that. Save. Let's see if I did it. No, what the fuck? I don't know why this is such a fucking problem for f goddamn Project 64. This fucking emulator blows. That's not what I saved it as, you piece of shit. What happened? It's not fucking doing what I'm telling it to fucking do. Save profile. And then I go to load. Let me see if I. Let me see if it's right again. Now I look like a crazy person. No, I save the profile and it fucking loads the profile with the wrong fucking configurement. What the fuck? It's fine. It's, it's, it's the fucking Z button. Uh, have. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I. No, the emulator just blows and it doesn't let me rebind the controller. Whoa, that's my... Whoa, that's my... It's uh, a secret folder. That's my secret folder. That's my secret folder for all the research I'm doing. <laughs> research. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a, like evil experiments. I got a goom nut. It really is gonna fucking bug me. Oh my god, it's gonna fucking bug me. What? That I can't use the fucking Z button on the right stick. I'm doing- I'm looking at it again, goddammit. There has to be a way I can do this. Oh, yo. What? They just discovered two new animals in Australia. Oh, that's cool. Good, good, for, good for them. It looks like a Furby. Oh, that's bad. Oh. I mean, it's not like straight Ma up. Furby. What if Furby? What if they were real though? What if Furbies were real? Horrible. What if like those animals fucked so quickly and so fast that like. Furbies became real. Like, they mutated into Furbies. Well, now the Z button isn't, bind isn't bound to anything. <laughs> Which is not good. No, it's, it's bad. Oh. Oh, because I'm, I'm stupid. Ignore me. I was hitting the right bumper when I said it to the left bumper. There we go. You did it? <laughs> I'm very dumb. <laughs> that does look like a buff Furby. I'm scared. What if I don't that... think it looks that Furby. What if like... What if they evolve into- what if they mutate into Furbies, though? What are we gonna do? Gon Gonkba on Gonkba violence. <laughs> Die. Well, yeah, I think we will. I think we will give the earth to the Furbies. 
They they deserve to be its steward much more than we do. What do you think I'll... What do you... Okay, so you know that theory about how, like, everything eventually f evolves into crabs? Yeah. What if, like, it was that, but for, like, children's toys? What if, like, the next stage of human evolution is, like, Barbie? Like, not in the horny bimbo way, but, like... Like, the... There's, there's no way I can make this not be horny. I understand what you mean. Like, no nipples. Just smooth. Small. Smoothening. How can I- how can I not- I- I don't think I can use this. The smoothening of the human race. We're already pretty smooth. Isn't- there's a- There's a time traveler story where it like humanity evolves into like weird, uh, wispy, like slender white creatures. Hmm. I can't. Maybe Slenderman is a time traveler. No, no. That's maybe, not it. Maybe Marble Hornets. It was a sci-fi story. Is... Is that from just straight up the Time Traveler? It, it might be that also. No, I'm trying to remember the name of... The Time Machine! I think it was a straight up from the Time Machine. Oh. Good for them. I would also want to be smooth. I mean, already humans are pretty smooth. I, I know what that guy was on about. Was that book like written in like the 1812s or whatever? Hey, hey, hold it right there. Yeah, you, yeah, you suspicious guy. Don't move. Ah, uh, hi, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Gugankpa King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Gonkopa Bros. That's me, Red Goomba. And my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. These are the new Pokemon games. Instead of remaking Sinnoh, they're remaking Kanto again. It's, it's gonna be Pokemon Goomba Blue and Pokemon Goomba Red. <laughs> Democrat Gonkba and Republican Gonkba, and they're all they're working for the same guy. Capitalism, Gonkba. Kakonkba. Kakonkba. <laughs> Have you heard? I tweeted about this. Uh, Joe Biden won a nice boobs day, which I, I think, I, I think, perhaps it's a sign of something I don't know, but it's not insane right now. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. I just felt like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Point. Ma ma okay, imagine, imagine I'm doing a Joker voice, 
Okay, I'm gonna do a joke voice. You point out Joe Biden wins on nice boobs day. The world goes mad. Is that that's what that's what he said on 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 uh in in the Joker. It's it's been the seventh for a while. <laughs> it's been... I don't know how to tell you this. It's been the seventh all day. <laughs> it's a uh... yeah, nice nice boom nice boobs day is almost close to an end. We got four hours left. By the way, to explain to yeah. anyone what the hell No, don't, is. don't, don't. I want them to be confused. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you can't. No, I, I, I don't care. I'll go invite Marissa to explain. I'm sorry, everyone. I, I will then, if you're, if you're too much of a pussy to... Oh, okay. Alright, Marissa, explain. <laughs> it's... <laughs> so, uh, uh, there's a Japanese artist trend where they, like, uh, uh, post, like, screenshots of boobs they've drawn. Uh, and it translates to Good Boobs Day. Or, like, Nice Boobs Day. <laughs> I, I think that should be a na national holiday. Wait, I didn't heal. Did I? Fuck. No. Shit. Wait, you hit the square break, didn't you? I think you healed. But then I didn't I fight something? No. Uh, don't. I disagree about that with Biden. No. He <laughs> doesn't. Neither does Harris. <laughs> <laughs> it's this guy was the ki the king Goomba was the boss in Mario sixty four DS. If you remember that, it's weird that like it's weird like how they randomly brought him back from this RPG, and like the star spirits were in Mario Party like five. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, they never made another appearance. Am I being a douchebag to you? What? I know, I feel- I just want to make sure. I feel very, like, loose, because I have, like, a mild headache and I'm tired and I'm streaming, so I just want to make sure. No, <laughs> oh, you're not being an asshole. Okay. So it's Fine. always good to check. This man is like spin kicking me. Can you do a spin kick if you only have feet? Or is the leg like a important component of that? I hmm. That's a fair point. <laughs> if if you like raised your uh, disembodied feet high enough when it'd just be a, ha a spinning hand punch. <laughs> no, I don't. I I don't think feet are hands because feet don't. We're not like as like prehensile or whatever the word is in our feet like we are for our hands. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's undeniable that he's spinning. That's for, that's, that's for sure. But is he spin right. kicking? <laughs> no. So it's over for you, two parties. It's over for you, capitalism. Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however, if you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it. 
Oh no! No, that's not weird. Don't worry about it. I mean, I don't... I don't have feet. I have paws. They're different. Look, the bridge. Now we can cross it and continue our journey. All right. Okay. Oh, I thought there was going to be dialogue. No, there is. There's the peach segment. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna do this all while drinking water. <laughs> I immediately spilled some. I don't think this is a good idea. I immediately spilled some. <laughs> oh, good night, Star. Oh, good night. Good night, Star. I love you. Mighty King Bowser, I have been looking for you. Report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. Is rest? Uh, I don't know. What? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you had the Star Rod, while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. Gwahahahaha. By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? <laughs> I don't know why something about this dialogue is very funny. Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Herm, who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Bros Fortress in red text, right? If Mario <laughs> somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. I think for a while, the Koopa Bros theme was like my starting scene screen music. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh-oh, uh, 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 oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. Psst, Kami Koopa, you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and he, even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Brothers. <laughs> Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh. Oh. That. This is. Oh. I know why, but the zoom in is also very funny. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent. Really, I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa brothers, about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... 
You idiots, use your heads. Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit. Bowser really likes glowing lights. And he's a big he's a big fan of them in, in every way. Come on. <sighs> What's up? Oh no. Okay. You sound like you were sighing. <laughs> oh, I just heard you say that Bowser likes big, flashy stars in a lot of ways. He likes big, flashy lights. I don't know what to tell you. Don't, don't kink shame King Bowser. Gonna die. The, the lights are consent consenting. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. The prince is kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's, it's bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Or do you think that water, do you think that like Paper Mario people can like drink water? Um, everything before Color Splash, yes. Every, oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> everything before, oh my god. Sticker, Sticker Star? Star? Every Paper Mario character before Sticker Star can drink water. Every character after it cannot. That's why, that's why, that's why, like, a Paper Mario remake would never work, because, because they would be like, oh god, we have to be, like, hyper-literal about, like, everything is made of paper, but Sushi swims in the water, well, what are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's depressing and real, that is. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm glad they never, they'll never make a remake of this game. Yeah. Does doesn't need to be remade. <laughs> Paper yeah. eater. I'm I'm still in a dream. Paper eater. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven. A place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasures, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. Also, it's from Kirby. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Uh, I, I guess me and Bowser have a couple things in common. <laughs> that's, that's a stupid joke. Of course, stars ignores, ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, these wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend, when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so we can grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... 
Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're here beside you, it can only, it's only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading, our phones are dying. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario, you are our last hope and we will... Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. I hope that there's like an epilogue for each chapter where we can see what the princess is up to. Oh my god, his wish was granted. <laughs> also, yeah, he does he does want to he does want a, a trans trans Mario. We well, want to get that super crown on Mario. I hope one day they make Bowser canon. Don't they never will? But I think it'd be I funny. <laughs> considering their track record with characters like Birdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would either be awful or just non existent. Yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> also, yeah, it's Star, go to sleep. S sniffle. 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 Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going, excuse me. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Well, well, Princess Peach. Oh, oh, not yet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gwahaha, my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know, the power that grants everyone's wishes, it's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Yeah. Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. But they're fine. You see, like, Toad Town, like, everybody's fine. <laughs> oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant quests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, princess. You'd better not cause trouble. Blehehehoha. Oh, please. If only somebody could help me. If, if only, if only canon LGBT representation could help me. Huh? There he is. There he is. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. <laughs> Can you screenshot that? There you go. Thank Got you. It. But you're you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? You really shouldn't be calling yourself Twink if you're a child. <laughs> oh fuck! I skipped it. There's like a history button somewhere. There we go. I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. <laughs> oh, why would you do that? She's playing Minecraft. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? 
Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you could do it? Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my cast has been captured and I have to save them at all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't gra grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to this guy a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. Nice. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. <laughs> <laughs> when you're cheering up your gay man best friend. <laughs> Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink. Do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. Well, I love the little pose he does. This is a lucky star in red text, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh wait, Twink. Wait one second, can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine, and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course, I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely. Now don't despair, I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? <laughs> Please ask something a small star can do. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know Cloud Strife was a paper Mario. <laughs> Mario, where are you? He's he's in that slide whistle sound effect, Peach. Can't you hear it? You ever think how strange Princess Peach face looks in this without a nose. A bit. She's an anime girl. Yeah, but like, her eyes are so far apart that there's space for a nose, but just no <laughs> nose there. We'll, we'll get we'll get to the front facing Peach eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's. You're Mario, aren't you? Uh, thank the stars I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. I got the lucky star. I got, I got a out of touch Thursday. I got, uh, I don't remember anything else from lucky star. <laughs> I, I don't need to be explained what action commands are. Dumb twink. What? It can't be. Are you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. You're you're out of touch. I'm out of time. Uh, but I'm out of my head when you're not around. You're out of touch. I can't sing. I don't know why I keep on trying to sing. <laughs> you shouldn't stop. No, but I really can't sing. <laughs> that's that's why Hollow Live is never gonna hire me. <laughs> It's not because I'm a furry. It's not because I can't speak Japanese. It's because I can't sing. <laughs> hi, well, hi, welcome to VTuber Talk, a recurring segment where I don't shut the fuck up about VTubers. <laughs> well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I knew that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. 
I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Oh, okay. Back for more, I see. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. And it, oh, that that's sad. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. Alright. Were you gonna say something? No. Okay. What exactly? Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Explain, Marissa. Uh, what are we? VTubers are anime girls who play video games. <laughs> that's basically it. That's all. That's really all you need to know. Well, I'm a future one, <laughs> with any luck. Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that roof, that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go to meet him at his house. Yep. Talk. Well, you see, VTubers are, are anime girls who play video games. Also, welcome. Yeah, I do too. I just... There's somebody I want to commission. I just don't have the fucking money. Just... It's basically face rig, yeah. Some people use, like, other programs. Some people use 3D models. Some people simply use, like that discord thing where you have like three pictures and moves and like switches between the pictures when you talk and, oh shit what the is, why is someone sleeping in front of my house wait a minute that face seems very familiar to me oh maybe no yes it must be your mario I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. The man has like a... Like a... Star... Star point? On his... On his, uh... Beard mustache? I really want to just grab it and get an extra... <laughs> star point. <laughs> Where you have like one star point isn't gonna amount to much. Well, yeah, but Still, you know, it's an RPG. All, all the experience matters. Uh, so this is basically shit we already know about. We gotta go to Cooper Brothers Fortress. There's a star spirit there. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit tired of reading. <laughs> but I... I think Mario got tired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. I I'm a little bit tired, with a little bit of a headache. I gotta make dinner after this. I had like chicken tenders at like two, and that was it. That was all I ate today. I've also got a headache. Ah, you shouldn't. Then you shouldn't be on stream if it if it's too much. I mean, you shouldn't be streaming if it's too much. It's not that bad of a headache. <laughs> Mine isn't either. Well, you, you sure? Yeah. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. If you're, if you're not sure, I'm gonna, like, throw hot soup at you. Speed! Oh, I can't go to the bad shop yet. What are these? They look like, they look like, like, they look like piantas, but like, instead of being like, tropical trees, they were potatoes. I always thought they were dogs. Yeah, that too. They could be dogs. They're like Yoshi dogs. Yeah. This guy's pretty funky. His name is Ralph. He sells badges. He travels all over the world buying and selling things. I'm a little jealous. Oh. Is that it? This is Ruff. He's Ralph's kid. He looks just like Ralph, right? It's kind of like we used the same sprite. 
He's supposed to be helping, but it looks like he's a pain. Hmm, well, it's Ralph's problem. <laughs> <laughs> I never realized they're just straight up the same sprite. Yeah. What smaller? <laughs> oh shit. You got some goth toads. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Cooper Brothers Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask Old Man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us, I mean. Don't even think about it. <laughs> that was my evil person voice. That that's the one voice I'm doing tonight. Yeah. Pleasant path. Well, they're like black. They're wearing like all black clothes. The t they're toads. <laughs> they're not supposed to be goth. They're supposed to be evil. <laughs> <laughs> There's difference. You goths can be evil. Have you have you ever seen the craft? That had a no. goth in it, and she was evil. No. Oh. Uh, hey. Hey. What was it? Have you seen the explosive bat that straight up uses gun cartridges to uh, launch a piece of the bat forward? What the to fuck are you? What? Have you you've never heard of the explosive bat? No. Did you just call it a baseball bat? What? You say it was a baseball bat? Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh shit. Oh. They weren't goth, they were posers this whole time. Told <laughs> Alright, thank you. I should probably go to the item shop. So this, this is the explosive bat. It, oh. it's fucking incredible. Let me, let me see this bat. Um, oh, well. Oh, 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 Naomi? Yeah. I thought you meant bat like the animal. I said baseball bat. I thought that was like its name. No. Why I... would it, this isn't monster hunter, <laughs> animals don't use gun cartridges, what are you talking about? Could you imagine though? <laughs> yeah. That would be and great. It... But yeah, that does look sick as fuck. It makes the most satisfying noise in the universe when it hits a home run. <laughs> it's incredible. It's a, it's a real life blaze ball weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, okay, okay, since, since I talked about baseball, I was listening to a podcast recently, and they, like, brought up baseball, and, like, one of them was like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of, like, falling off it, I'm not liking it anymore, they're doing, like, too much stuff, like, focusing on the lore, and, like, they're adding too many silly rules, and I'm like, if, if you want to just, like, play a normal baseball game, you can buy, like, any of the boring baseball coach simulators on the PS4, you know? Okay, but here's the thing. I kinda agree. I, I disagree. I think it's- I- listen, I haven't watched any b baseball, but that's more so because I have ADD. I think it's very funny how they're adding stupid rules. <laughs> I... I have not watched a single uh, thing of baseball recently because I don't understand what's going on. I, I do wish. No easy way to check. I do wish and, they added like a rule book, you know. I mean, there is one, but it's unhelpful to look through, and it's, you can't see what's new and what's been happening. Yeah. 
board is like barely anything. And on purpose, anyways. Yeah. Um, Blaze. Okay. So Blazeball is a fictional betting app for a fictional universe where of. How do I put this? Fake baseball imagine, people. Imagine a world where uh, baseball is at your mercy and whim. That's Blazeball. That's my dream world. So you select a team. You, uh, you, you select a favorite team. And then you just get presented a screen of a bunch of games going on, and then you bet on them with fake money. Yeah, there's no, there's no real money. No, yeah, absolutely zero money is being exchanged. It is all just random bullshit fake money for random bullshit fake games. It's, and it's surprisingly fun. Yeah. There's like this whole community about around making um, fake personas for the teams and uh, making like making like fake like lore for the teams and such. It's fun. Yeah. But the part that makes it at your mercy is when you get to vote in elections. The elections change the entire course of the game, like, all the time. At, at one point, baseball players did, did necromancy. <laughs> yeah. They brought a, a player back from the dead because you can die in baseball. <laughs> Sorry, the people can die in baseball. A couple eras ago, in Blazeball terms, a couple eras ago, the players vote or not the players, the audience voted to open the book. Nobody knew what was going to happen when the book was voted on to open. This unleashed many things when the book was opened. One, the entirety of one the entirety of a desert was swallowed whole. Two. <laughs> the um, rogue empires had their eyes glow when a uh, solar eclipse happened. Three. When the empires do this, they can shoot laser beams out of their eyes and burn players to death. Yeah. This... See, that's what I think is fun about baseball. If you if you just want like a normal baseball game, just just either a watch baseball or or b like buy a baseball simulator game. And and this isn't this won't even go into the Peanut God, a god that appeared after every election to either mock. No, just mostly mock the player's choices, but in like a fun way. <laughs> the peanut god was only recently defeated by feeding it to a giant squid. As it so happens. See, but... My issue with baseball is that its chaotic nature does not lend itself to easily to people who haven't been paying attention since the start. Yeah. You need a history book to understand that game and uh, why it's fun for people. I mean, there's the wiki. Yeah, true, but that wiki's still being updated now. It's barely, even in its, like, first stages. I mean, yeah, but, like, you can get... I pretty much got a gist of, like, what was happening from the wiki. Yeah. Also, I don't know if the garages are the most lore-intensive team. <laughs> ah, yeah, the garages. The best part about Blazeball is its community. Yes. Straight up. The community, that, um, the com the community revolving around the garages, is 
the best because one person decided, hey, what if we actually made music? <laughs> the music is pretty fucking good. <laughs> the music is so fucking good. The music is absolutely incredible. They made a song that is like it's the thing that put the team on the map for this, or the, the person on the map for this. There is a song called Mike Townsend is a fucking disgrace. <laughs> because okay. the picture at the time, it... Mike Townsend was the worst player in the entire game of baseball. It was fucking, <laughs> it's a fucking incredible song. Oh god. <laughs> Just, just an update on Paper Mario. People are stealing other people's clothes. The man, the man is in his underwear. Are, is, are fuzzies people? I. Uh, do they have language? I think, yeah, they do later, cause, it, cause they make you play. Uh, a, it's, it's not literally a shell game, but that's like, what they do. So. They're just assholes. They're just, they're just assholes, yeah. They're just okay. going around pantsing people. They're assholes. It's also funny how these things have become like instant death machines in later games. Yeah. To go back to Blaze Ball for a moment. Yeah, please continue. Um. Blaze Ball has a lot of random status effects and random things that are applied to players and it's very hard to keep up with all this especially since they like purposely hide the truth about what the status effect does oh yeah I still I still time. don't know what they do <laughs> yeah that it just makes it very hard to follow for me because like when a player dies it's pretty simple to understand mm. when a player is shelled what the fuck is that <laughs> you know they're, they're you know trapped in like a giant peanut i it Mostly when I partici participate in baseball, I was doing other things. <laughs> like, I would, I, would, I would be playing something on my Switch and just occasionally look up and go, Oh shit, we're winning. Oh, like, there is absolutely nothing to pay attention to in, like, the middle of a season mm. or anything. All this shit happens around election time. Yeah. Like, all the worst stuff. There was Except a... The most Except, like fan creations, fan creations happen all the time. The most uh, recent election in Blazeball, uh, they brought back uh, a really old uh, uh, show, uh, and they had uh, one of the angel players confess confess their love for the one of the normal players, and and then went to super hell. This is a really bad uh, supernatural joke, because <laughs> you said election season. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I re <laughs> I'm wrapping up the stream. <laughs> I'm ending the stream now, goodbye. <laughs> um... Blazeball is such a thing that you need to be in, in the fandom mm. to enjoy completely. And I have not been in a fandom since never. <laughs> I, th I think I think that supernatural joke counted as make me something dumb. I simply do not vibe with fandom spaces at all. So trying to like, so trying to enjoy Blazeball without being in the fan base is new. Not near impossible. The most I will do, mostly for like fandom stuff, is go onto a Tumblr tag and look at art, <laughs> and like, yep. 
mostly my exposure to fandom stuff comes from artists I follow. Because, like, right now in Blazeball, a, um, what is it, what is it? Something that was voted on uh, a couple of elections ago named Eat the Rich. This, um, this is currently suspended due to pending litigation where the uh, team of the tacos, I think it is. I think it's the tacos. I have no idea. Unlimited Tacos is currently suing uh, the Blazeball Commissioner because, uh, God, I think, like, they said something like, the Eat the Rich, um, they weren't doing Eat the Rich properly or at all. Oh, damn, so I see. Were, so they were suing. And now the thing has now this um, feature of Blazeball has been su suspended due to pending litigation, <laughs> and it says that on the website. <laughs> like, holy fuck, that's hilarious. It's just very good. <laughs> but do you know where that thing is? Uh, where this trial is going to take place? Is I assume on Twitter. <laughs> no, in the Discord. Oh my god. The Patreon I am, Discord. I am not joining a Discord. I, just, just to see this. I hope. I hope somebody like records it or something. Shot. Yeah. Mhm. Mm hey, we got a turtle. Yeah, Cooper. What was his name again? His name's Cooper. Cooper. I like Cooper. He's nice. He's fun. He's got a. He's got a bandana on. In Brazil. <laughs> Blazeball Welcome to Brazil, Blazeball Commission. <laughs> there we go. That's what I call super garden guarding. Fuck. Damn, we've been live for two hours. Damn. I wasn't here for a solid 45 of it. <laughs> I will. Hmm. I really do want to stream for longer, but also I am tired. <laughs> then you don't need to press yourself. Well, I, I'll, I'll get to like a better stopping point. Like I'll get to Koopa Brothers uh, Fortress. I'll just get like, just at least get to the point where you'll unlock the path to the fortress, and then you're good. No, no, I'm I'm fine. Hmm. I'll live. My av, what I used to do was two and a half hours. So this this ain't even that that size. So not even compared to that. Did that bush grow flowers? Do you see that? No, I didn't see. Maybe, maybe I'm just crazy. It's fine. I should save. Or heal. Are toad houses like brands? Are they, are they like a branded hotel? Or huh? Cause like, 
Oh, the Toad Hotel? Uh, you said welcome to Toad House, blah blah blah. There was one in, in Goomba Village and there was one in Toad Town. I guess it is. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> oh god. I love how in this universe they make good Koopa Troopas. So, how do we distinguish good ones from bad ones? Uh, we give the bad ones uh, evil sunglasses and uh, collars. We make, we make them look cool as shit. <laughs> we make them look like a, uh, the communist glasses. Yeah. Glasses. Oh, God. I believe in you, Luna. I, I believe that you can draw. Where the fuck? Oh, I see. I got. I gotta use Cooper. I'll get rid of the freight jar. Whoa, shit, there's a fire flower. I wish, like, secret boxes, like, secret item boxes existed for real. You know? <laughs> Just, like, walking around and then this tripping over something invisible. Yeah. Go to say use the superpower shell. I want to save it. I don't. I don't got that much FP. But we'll use one of my items. You don't got a lot of root fuck points. <laughs> That's what it's called. I also thought that was a screen wipe. Oh no. <laughs> Oops. The fire flower is a screen wipe. Yeah. And Mario die. Oh shit, I'm lucky. Oh, Ma Mario, Mario will be fine. That's my bit donation alert. The lucky sound effect. Nice. Yeah. Hey, somebody give. No. <laughs> I mean, do if you want to, but don't pressure them into doing that. <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm joking. You're fine. Whoa, it's a castle. Castle? It's cast castle. Alright. It was a good stopping point. Let me see if there's anybody to raid. Uh, no? Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, thanks for coming.